Good morning everybody, my name is Muhammadu and I welcome you to my YouTube channel MathWiz. So today we're gonna start with some pre-algebra. So basically the purpose of this pre-algebra program is to be able to add, subtract, multiply and divide integers. Before we go further, we need to know what is an integer. An integer can be defined as a number with no fractional parts, no decimals. Basically, it means that an integer is a whole number. doesn't have decimals, meaning a 3.0111. That's not the case. Or a fractional part, which is 3 4 that is a fraction number. An integer can be a positive number. 1, 2, 3, 10, 100, or it can be a negative number that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Oh, don't pay mind to the sirens, so they always go around at this time. It can be a negative number, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, or a 0. We can write them pretty much like this uh, negative infinity minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 all the way to positive infinity examples of integers can be like minus 16 minus 3 0 198 next the first case is to be able to know how to add integers in these situations we have two cases the case in which the number have the same signs and the case in which the number have different signs in the case of the same signs numbers all we have to do is just add them as we were adding two regular numbers and just keep the negative for example we have minus 5 plus minus 3 we can see that these two numbers have the same signs the negative is in both ways so we just add 5 and 3 which is equal to 8 and put the negative sign in before the 8 that will give us negative 8 as our final answer second example same thing as example 1 negative 7 plus negative 5 those two numbers have the same signs so we add 7 and 5 which is 12 but the negative sign for the 12 that will give the final answer negative 12. In the case of different signs, we need to be a little bit more careful with this. So, in the case of different signs, we just subtract the numbers as we regularly do, meaning that we assume that all the numbers are positive. So, if the, num if the largest number has a positive sign, then the final answer will be positive. If the largest number has a negative sign, then the final answer will be negative. For example, we have minus 7 plus 2. First, we subtract 7 minus 2, which is equal to 5. And we know that 7 is the largest number, but it has a negative sign before it. Then the final answer will be negative 5. Example 2, we have negative 4 plus 6. We do 6 minus 4, which is equal to 2. We know that 6 is the largest number and it happens to be a positive number. Then the final answer will be 2. Subtracting integers. To subtract integers, all we have to do is just change them to adding integers and use the same properties that are provided by the addition case. In other words, we just have to add the opposite of the number that comes after the subtracting sign. For instance, we we'll do 8 minus 3. Let's change 8 minus 3 to an addition sign. So we got the 8 plus, and the opposite of 3 is negative 3. So the, uh, this, the operation will become now 8 plus minus 3. We can see that the, the two signs are different and we do 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5 
and it turns out the largest number 8 has a positive sign which means that positive 5 plus 5 will be the final answer or 5. Example 2 we have minus 4 minus 6 we change the 6 to the opposite which is negative 6 therefore the operation will become minus 4 plus minus 6 turns out that those two numbers have the same signs we just add 4 and 6 which is 10 and we keep the negative and the final answer will be minus 10 or negative 10 example 3 we have 9 minus minus 4 the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4 so the operation will become 9 plus 4 a regular addition those two numbers have the same signs which happen to be positive so 9 plus 4 will be equal to 13 final example we have minus 6 minus minus 2 we change the opposite of minus 2 to positive 2 so we get minus 6 plus 2 in the case of different signs so we do 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 the larger number 6 happen to have a negative sign then the final answer will be minus 4 multiplying and dividing integers in order to multiply and divide integers we need to remember that they work in a similar way as we were doing a regular multiplication and a regular division we just have to keep in mind two properties property number one if the signs do match which means either both are positive or either both are negative then the final answer would be positive and if the signs are different meaning one is positive or one is negative then the answer would be negative example one four multiplied by negative six we can see that there's a negative sign with on the before 6 so the final answer will be negative 24 example 2 negative 36 divided by negative 9 we see that the number both numbers have the same signs which is negative so the final answer will be positive which is plus 4 example 3 minus 2 multiplied by negative 6 we see that the two numbers have the same signs therefore 12 would be the final answer which means the answer is positive obviously example 4 we have 15 divided by negative 3 one of the numbers has a negative sign and it happens to be negative 3 so that means the final answer is negative so minus 5 will be the solution before we end this lecture, I would like to provide two important tips. Tip number one, do not confuse minus three minus eight, which is a subtraction with minus three multiplied by minus eight, which is a subtraction. Uh, I mean, a multiplication, I'm sorry, a multiplication. The reason why I said that minus three minus eight is a multiplication is because there's no signs between the parentheses so if there's no operating signs between the parentheses it automatically means that we are dealing with a multiplication the minus 3 minus 8 is a subtraction because we have a subtracting sign that comes right after the negative 3 in the second tip adding and subtracting integers are not to be conf are not to be confused with multiplying and dividing integers although they can have some similarities so what i mean by that is in an addition case we can have the same signs minus three plus minus seven happen to have the same sign but since this is an addition case all we have to do is add three and seven which is ten and then put the negative sign before that will give a final answer negative 10 in the case of the multiplication minus 3 multiplied by minus 7 we happen to also have the same signs but since this is a multiplication case 
we apply the theory that if the signs do match both positive or both negative then the final answer is positive which will give us 21 as our final answer so that's pretty much it for the pre-algebra lecture today happens to be a very short lecture and i hope that it will help you understand better how to add subtract multiply and divide integers and how to be able to avoid some tricks that teachers like to give sometimes in those quizzes or tests so i hope that this more lecture pro help you understand this concept much better so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this lecture and don't forget to like comment or subscribe uh, if you also have any further question feel free to drop your question on the comment section or you can contact me on the facebook page twitter page or instagram page or also send me a private message and i will post an answer video right away in order for you to understand better what i was talking about in this lecture so thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this to take to watch this video and i hope to see you soon with more lectures about the math subject so have a great day and bye bye